Hello guys, so I know I'm starting off the vlog looking extra glamorous currently. I know you cannot handle how beat I am right now. But no, for real, um, I got up this morning, um, did some annoying adult stuff, and I worked out too. Um, Kendra and I have been going to the gym like three days a week, um, but we only do cardio usually three days a week. And then the other two days I've been doing floor work. So I did floor work yesterday and today, which is Friday. Sorry, I forgot to mention what today is. Friday, I'm sure you already saw that on the screen. Um, so Thursdays and Fridays, I do arms, abs, and butt. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I do cardio. So yeah, um, that's why I'm currently in like lounge looking pajama clothes. But yeah, cause I showered and I have a mask on my face. This is like my forever favorite mood. Hair mask, face mask. By the way, last time I looked like this um, on the vlog, a lot of you guys were asking what the green mask was that I had on my face. And it was the Tata Harper clarifying mask. I'll show you guys. By the way, here are all my masks. I know, I'm crazy. And I basically have them separated by type and brand, but mostly by type because like here are all like my clarifying mask on this side because these are my origins mask. Um, and then over here are like my brightening mask, even though this should not be here. This is actually what I was gonna show you guys. This is the Tata Harper clarifying mask. I'm trying to focus. So this is the green mask that I had on my face the last time. A lot of you guys were asking and this is the green mask that I had on. Um, it's really nice, it helps with breakouts. It also has little tiny beads in it when you rinse it off to help exfoliate a little bit, but not too harsh because you guys know that I can't use exfoliators that are like too big because I break out. So yeah, that's what I had on my face. So yeah, in here are just like, mostly like clarifying masks. Of course, Tata Harper resurfacing. Um, this Olay Henriksen, which is really nice. I really like this um, Instant Transform Lemon Facial Peel. It's almost gone, I need to get another one, but it's like a gel mask and it smells really good. It's for uh, like hyperpigmentation and like, you know, helps give you like a healthy glow. This is like my second jar of this, the Blue Tansy one, Resurfacing Clarity Mask. I think I mentioned this in like um, a blog post and I also mentioned this in our Sephora haul a few months ago. And then back here, I just have some more clarifying mask, like my Freeman mask. This is my favorite one, the lemon one, the oil absorbing mint and lemon clay mask. Yeah, and I really like this Manuka honey and tea tree oil one too. And of course I have my Queen Helen mask back there. I'm giving you guys an unofficial skincare tour. And then in the middle, I just have like some peels. This is supposed to be over here. I need to get something to put these in cause I only have like storage for like my jar mask. And this should not be here either. This is another peel mask. Um, I can't really say too much about this one yet cause I've only used it like once. So I really don't um, have much to say about this one yet. This is the Murad um, Intensive C Radiance Peel. I only used it once. I have to use a mask at least three times for me to give like a good review slash opinion. So yeah. Currently right now today I have on this Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. This stuff is so, so good. I like that it comes with this little spatula. It's like magnetic and it um, sticks to the uh, top of the jar. It's like honey. So honey is really good for your skin. Like it says, it has antioxidants in it, which is really good to give you that natural glow. Um, it's also warming. So when you rub it in, um, when you rub it in, uh, let me refocus. When you rub it in, it feels kind of warm on the skin, which is kind of weird at first because you're like, is this burning my face? But it's like a relaxing, warming feeling. So um, when you rub it in, it turns white like this because it looks like regular honey, like a honey color in the jar. But when you rub it in, it turns to this. So yeah, I've been using this at least like two to three times a week. And it's just like a really nice mask to use like throughout the week because it's not irritating or anything. Uh, I will show you guys the rest of my skincare, but but right now I'm just about to go open some packages, which I have not done in a while. Um, Kendra and I um, have been like collecting packages like over the past few weeks because I was going to show you guys here on the vlog channel because I haven't done an unboxing on the vlog channel in a while. So I'm going to go do that. Okay guys, so it's a lot. Well, I guess it's not that much. It looked like a lot more in the closet because a lot of this stuff is like two of everything, one thing. For Kendra, one thing for me from like a lot of companies. This first thing is something I've been seeing everywhere. It's this new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I know you guys have probably already seen like reviews on this and stuff, but I haven't gotten around to opening this package until now. 
Oh, so cool. It has like this big mirror with like all the shades on it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. Like I like this kind of packaging, but it's just like, what do I do with this after? Oh, well, they got primers in here. I think I wanna try this poor minimizing primer because I'm always here for like poor minimizing primers. I know I won't be using this illuminating one because I illuminate all on my own. <laughs> because I'm super oily. I'm trying to see what color I am, because I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation. Might be D50. Yeah, it might be in between D50 and D60. Yeah, I may mix these two and see how they do. Okay, so the next one is from Karuna, which is one of my favorite sheet mask brands. And here they have a little card. Oh, it's handwritten. I love that. But thanks so much Aspen, shout out to Aspen. She works for Karuna, so I'm super excited to get this package because I've been buying their sheet masks for quite some time now. And I mostly order them on Sephora, but I've also seen their sheet masks in TJ Maxx. Okay, so, oh, they have eye masks. Kendra will really like these because she uses eye masks a lot. These are the eye masks. These are the Karuna Renewal eye masks. They minimize the look of fine lines and dark circles. Then of course, the packs of sheet masks. I like the packs because it's like more than one of one kind. This is a foot mask. This is the exfoliating foot mask. Ooh, you just like put your foot in. I've only ever tried a foot mask like once and it was the Sephora brand ones. This one is the Karma Kit face mask set. It includes exfoliating mask, hydrating, antioxidant, and age defying mask. So it has more than one kind in this one. This is the clarifying face mask. Honey deep cleans pores and provides oil-free hydration. It's so funny because I have a honey mask on my face right now. Hmm, I like this bag too good for travel. I love like little bags. Like Kendra and I have so many like travel bags. So if y'all can hear the blender downstairs, Kendra's making a smoothie. So we have two of the matte mud masks in here there for mattifying. It's a white mud sheet mask. I've never heard of that before. And then we have the Hydra mud. And the last two are the clean mud. Okay, Kendra, I think your smoothie is blended. It's still so naked behind me. We're gonna have a couch back here eventually and it's gonna be like so like cozy. We wanna make the beauty room to like feel cozy so it doesn't just feel like, you know, just a workspace. We want it to feel like you know, like a chill glam room. Okay, next we got some stuff from Bobbi Brown. This first one is the new Bobbi Brown Dreaming in Capri collection. It's the eye palette. Okay, this is the eyeshadow palette. It's like gold. Oh man, one of the shadows broke. And it was a navy color that I was definitely gonna use. So these are the colors. This bottom one broke. It's like a navy color. This is like so pretty. This would be like pretty for like a night out or something. So, still excited to try it. And then this is the All Over Glow. Oh, you twist it like this. Oh, that's so cool. And I guess you just pump it out. Honestly, I would use this all over my body on vacation or something, because I usually don't like to put like glow things on my face. Or I could just probably use this as a highlighter on like tops of my cheekbones, because I know a lot of people use these and mix them with their foundation. I really don't do that because I feel like it makes me look extra oily than I already get, especially in the summertime. So I'll probably just use it like like all over my body and mix it with like my lotion for vacay. Okay, this next one is the new longwear sparkle stick. Oh, it's like a bunch of them. Oh yeah, this is probably gonna be so bomb on the lid. Okay, this one is nice, but it's a little light for me. They feel kind of wet, but I'm sure they like dry really nicely. Kind of like a pigment and a crayon, which is really neat. Okay, so those are the colors. Really nice, shimmery, pretty colors. So these are gonna be nice on the lid. That's the only thing about unboxing, you have to put all the stuff away. And now that we don't live in an apartment, there's not like a big dumpster to go throw it out. So we have to put it in the recycle trash can. And the people that pick up our trash are probably like, why I always have so many boxes? I mean, of course we just moved in, but like when you do our job, you have more boxes than the average person because you're constantly opening packages. Okay. Got something from the brand Super Goop. I feel like I've seen this brand on Sephora before. How cute is this bag? I have another bag up there just like that. 
Y'all probably can't even see it. It's like right up there. I think this is SPF related. Yes, the sunscreen. That's where I seen this at on Sephora. SPF Magic. Okay, this is a setting powder. Oh, cool. Okay, this is a setting powder with SPF 45 in it, which is really cool. And then this is just an unseen sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 40. And it's sweat resistant, which is great because that's what you do in the sun, you sweat. I'm very particular about sunscreens because I'm darker complexion and I hate when sunscreens give me like a white cast. So I only really use two different ones and it's the Glossier um, Invisible Shield, which is like my number one. And the other one that I really like to use is the Murad Vitamin C one. It's um, I think SPF 30. Yeah, I showed it to you guys on my Insta story before. So yeah, those are the only two that I use that don't give me a white cast. So those are really good sunscreens if you've been looking for one, if you're like darker complexion, or if you're not, they're just really good sunscreens. Ooh, good sign. It's like clear. It looks like a primer. Ooh, yes. Okay. We'll be giving this a try. Might add it to my sunscreen collection. Well, I don't really have much of a collection. I only have two that I use, but why didn't nobody tell me about this? <laughs> okay, super excited to try this. Cause um, my invisible shield is kind of clear, but it's like really lightweight. That's why I like it from Glossier. But I have to order it online. That's the most annoying thing about it. I can't like go in Sephora and get it. But this brand is at Sephora, I know for a fact. I feel like I've seen it before. Okay, this next package is from, oh, Bliss. How are they even your address? So cool, this is the box. It says Bliss on the front. I know this, this is like the signature Bliss color of their like product. And this is the Poetic Waxing Straight From The Spa Hair Removal Kit. Uh, let me hurry up because this battery's about to die. Um, and it also has this like down there softening oil. I've only ever tried to wax myself once, not down there, but I've waxed my underarms before, like me and Kendra did it to each other. And it wasn't that bad of an experience, but I prefer to pay someone else to do it, but I am gonna try the waxing kit. Okay, this next thing is from Urban Decay. We got some more All Nighter Setting Spray. Oh, it has my name on it. It has my name on it, Kelsey. And then this, Pollution Protection Environmental Defense Makeup Setting Spray, ooh. And then Drop Shot Mix-In Facial Oil. Probably won't be using that. Ooh, and then we have a Mac Me Makeup Insta Filter with an extra velvet feel, ooh. Ooh, look at this packaging. It's so cool, it's like velvet. Really excited to try that. The Lime Green Box. This is the Rebound Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Firming, smoothing, radiance, boosting. All the things I like to hear. Okay guys, I'm almost done because I gotta go rinse this mask off my face. The next thing that I opened was another Urban Decay package. This is the Light Beam Palette, eyeshadow palette. It's just another eyeshadow palette. I like their mini palettes. Um, I like to travel with can't remember the name of it, but it's like orange and it's like mini. It's all matte in it. I always travel with that one. I can't remember the name of it. But these are all shimmers except the, the one on the end. It's like a matte shade on the end, but all these are shimmers. This one is so pretty. I can do like a pretty like summer look with this one. And then this other brand um, is called the Lip Bar. They sent Kendra and I some lip products, which are really, really pretty. Like these are the matte liquid lipsticks they're vegan too by the way which is great these are the two colors i love this color of course i love a good red but this is like a nice mauvey color it's like a nice mauve color and then these are some glosses this color is so pretty i got a feeling that i'm going to use this color a lot it's called miss independent let me swatch it because i've been trying to wear glosses more since kendra and i did the sister like makeup look swap video i've been trying to wear glosses more by the way i love this packaging so cute so this is the gloss Ooh, pretty so that's it right there so yes yeah, a nice glossy color so like it's like an opaque gloss it's not like a sheer gloss okay so next up we have lancome are you kidding me, Lancome? Oh my gosh, I opened this. I was like, 
all this for some mascara, but it's a drawer right here. Okay, I was about to say, what in the world? Lancome is like one of the only high-end mascaras that I actually like because every time I try a high-end mascara, I'm very underwhelmed because um, I just stick with drugstore, but I love Lancome mascaras. This is the Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. I probably butchered that. And then at the bottom in the drawer, they have, oh, I needed another one of these. This is the eye makeup remover. So I have a smaller one of this, so this is definitely gonna come in handy. And then I have an eyelash curler in here that I rarely use because my lashes are naturally curled. But I guess it won't hurt to have one. This is the classic one of that version of the mascara. This is the one that I use all the time. And this one is waterproof. That's why it's blue. Oh, I have it upside down. Yeah. The blue one is the waterproof. I have the original in my vanity and I use it all the time, so. I didn't even realize this wasn't waterproof. Oh, so this is the waterproof one. And then we have other packages, but I'm not gonna sit here and open all of these because I know I can't sit too long when I'm watching unboxing videos. So this is the last one I'm gonna open on camera. Um, this last one is from Garnier. Love getting things from Garnier. They send it in this little backpack, which is so cute. This would be like perfect for the beach, which I might take. Um, and here we just have, ooh. A neck pillow. How cute is this? I have like two of these already, but I feel like you can never have enough because if I'm traveling a lot and I need to wash one, oh dang, I just got liquid lipstick on this. But if I'm traveling a lot, I have two that I use in rotation, but if they're both dirty, I don't have another one. But now I have three. Okay, got some micellar wipes, a wet brush. I think Kendra uses those. I don't really use them. Ooh, a jade roller. Kendra just bought us uh, some of these. Really? She could have saved her money. Um, I just started jade rolling, so I can't really tell you if I notice a difference. Some more mini micellar waters. Can never have too many of those for travel. Got a, other, a bunch of other stuff in here. Another one of these charcoal sheet masks and this facial mist, this rose facial mist, which I really like. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you guys. There's some other packages in the closet that I'm gonna make Kendra help me go through. So yeah. Hi guys, it's Sunday. We just got back from church uh, and Kendra and I also wanted to stop by the outlets and we just wanted to go into Nike but we ended up going in Adidas too because I wanted to stop in there. And we just needed a couple of more like workout items um, because I have a lot of workout clothes but I needed like some like better quality workout stuff because Forever 21 has good workout stuff but it doesn't last this long like when you keep washing it. So I just wanted to get like some like better quality workout items. Um, I'll show you guys what I got in a second. I don't really get any leggings because I have a lot of workout leggings. Um, most of them are from like TJ Maxx and Lululemon. Um, I have like a few pair of Lululemon that I really, really like. But I think I only have like four or five pair of Lululemon because they're very expensive, but they're really, really good leggings. So I just set the camera on my bed. Probably can't see me that well. Oh, by the way, this top is from Pretty Little Thing. It ties right here. It's really cute. So, yeah. So I got this gray tee. Um, it's like Razorback and it just says Adidas in black. The symbol is gray too, which I thought was cute. Then I got this cute blue one. So I thought this was really cute. It's just a real blue and black. And then from Nike, I got a lot of sports bras. Oh, but I got this hat, this cute white hat. That was really cute. Okay, so here's the first sports bra I got. It's gray and lime green. You guys know I'm obsessed with neon lime green um, and it's crisscross in the back and then I got this cute gray one it's like charcoal gray and like a heather gray and it's mesh in the back which I thought was really cute so got that I think this one is my favorite it looks like a regular bra like a Victoria's Secret bra or something like it reminds me of Victoria's Secret sport because I got a few things from Victoria's Secret last year and they have really good workout stuff too it has little like breathable holes in the back but like smaller not ones that creep me out because I have What's the name of that phobia with holes? Like I have this weird thing about holes. It makes me itch. I can't, I just can't do it. But these aren't like weird holes. It's like uh, for breathable purposes. So I thought this was really cute. I can't describe this material. It almost feels like rubbery. 
It's so, so good. It's like a seafoam green color and I have some really cute Lululemon leggings that will go super cute with this. So this would probably be good for like a yoga class or something. Cause our new gym, they have like a lot of classes and Kendra and I wanna try a yoga class soon. And then I think I wanna try like a Pilates class eventually too. And then I got this white one. Kendra has one similar to this that she got, but hers is in black. And on the back, it just says Nike and the straps are black right here. So I just thought this was super cute. Love the simple black and white. And then I just wanted to get a simple black one because you can't go wrong with a simple black Nike sports bra. And then I got this t-shirt. It says just in the front and then it says do it in the back. And then I got this plain black t-shirt and it has like mesh detailing on the side, on the arm part. So I thought that was really cute. And it's high neck, which I really like. And then the last thing I got from Nike are these shorts. I don't work out in shorts that often because I feel like, I don't know, my butt's hanging out kind of, but these are like the tighter kind. So they're more compressed, which I like. And then they have like this cute band at the top that's hot pink. They had these in a lot of different colors, but I just wanted these. So I thought this was super cute. And it just has the Nike sign in white right there. So yeah, that's all I got. Okay, so most of the stuff that I got is black, obviously, because that's like my favorite color to wear, even when I work out. I do like some bright colors, but it's still always some kind of black incorporated in there. So from Nike, I got these shorts. I thought these would be really cute to do like floor work in. And I got these as well. They're the same kind, just a different print. So these have like some little stripe designs on the side. And then I love these colors. So this is the kind of black with color mix that I like because it's still kind of I feel like black makes a lot of the brighter colors pop on workout clothes so I like that combo and then I just got this regular tank it's a really really soft material and it's a razorback um, mesh on the back so I thought that was really cute I got this Nike shirt it's basically the same material as this tank top except it's just a regular short sleeve and it has mesh on the short sleeve so I thought that was a cute detail and then I just got these simple leggings here with the Nike Pro band around it, like the shorts that I got. And they're just regular leggings. And I actually already have this bra, but I wanted an extra one for obviously when one is dirty. So I have this same bra, but I just wanted to get another one in black. And then I got this one as well in white. So I love, love this one with the black band at the bottom. I kind of wish they had a white band on the black one, kind of like the opposite of this one. Still cute. I love those. They're really, really comfortable. I have no idea like the proper name of these. I just know what I like when I look at it. And then from Adidas, I just got this tank. Actually, Kelsey got me this tank because I didn't see anything else in Adidas that I liked. So yeah, I just got this workout tank.